Hey, this is Mr. Leo, and I want to show you what it's going to look like when you're required to authenticate into Zoom when you're using your Chromebook. So the teacher has assigned a Zoom meeting. I'm going to click on it. And typically, I could just join a meeting and put in a screen name. You'll notice that when I do that, I'm not going to be able to because it's for authorized attendees only. In other words, the teacher behind the scenes has set things up so that I have to log in with Google. So let me just clear my username here. And I'm going to go to sign in instead of join a meeting. You'll notice there's a sign in with Google button. You're going to use that. And it's going to prompt you to enter your um, email address. You are required to use a West Genesee email address based on the way this teacher has set the meeting up. So you'd be prompted to type in your username and password. And when you do so, you're going to start the meeting with video or without video. I'm going to turn my video on because the teacher would love to see my face. And I'm going to wait patiently while this connects. And the teacher lets me in from the waiting room. You'll note that this may take a moment or two. I'm just going to pause the video for a moment till Zoom launches. Alrighty, it looks like I was finally successful. Let me just drag this window back to the center of the screen for you. I've logged in, and now the teacher will let me in to the waiting room. There we go. So once again, let's just recap. When you're prompted to join a meeting and the teacher is required authentication, You're going to go to the sign-in route. By default, it may just ask you to join the meeting automatically, but again, you're going to sign in to join. You're going to use your Google account. Because I've done this once already, it's remembered. And it should launch the meeting. Let me into the waiting room where the teacher can then admit me to the meeting. Thanks for listening, and I hope you found this useful.